Anyway, yeah, pff, folks, today we are doing the first Shut Up, Let's Talk guitar review. Today we're going to be reviewing this awesome Telecaster that was custom built by a very cool dude named Frank. I'm going to go ahead and drop his info below if you guys want to get in touch with him about building some rad guitars for you. Um, I've, I've mostly seen him only build Fender-style guitars, so uh, talk to him about that. Maybe he'll be able to do a bunch of other stuff for you. Anyway, uh, if you're not into guitars, guys, feel free to skip this video. There's a talk show every Wednesday, 9.30. Uh, they're also doing video game stuff, so check all that other stuff out. This episode, though, we're going to be reviewing this Telecaster. This thing, like I said, was built by Frank. Got a bunch of awesome components in here, and I'm going to be talking about them, and I'll get you guys some rad close-ups while I talk about it. So, uh, let's start off on the body and neck of the guitar. The body is actually a Stuart Mac, Stu Mac, Golden Age 52 body, a uh, Telecaster style body. And what that means is that it is modeled after a 1952 Telecaster. It's modeled after the old style. And what that means is that around the top frets, around the 22nd fret, uh, it is kind of hard because this little heel down here is kind of, it can be kind of funky to get your hand all the way through. Uh, that was because back in the day, nobody was really, you know, when they made these things in 1952, nobody was really soloing like that crazy. So, uh, they just didn't think about it. Later models, they did fix that heel. Um, so the body is a 52-style body. If you guys can't tell, it has this beautiful, beautiful custom artwork done. I'm not sure by who. I wish I could give you credit. If it's Frank, did I, I gotta ask Frank if he did it himself. But um, it looks as if they have burned this awesome tree design into the guitar. It's pretty radical. I'll get you guys a really cool close-up. Now, moving on to the neck of the guitar. The cool thing about the neck of the guitar is that it is a... First of all, it's a Mighty Might vintage amber neck i believe it's called and mighty might is the brand they make a bunch of different style guitar necks and the cool thing about the neck on the guitar is that actually it has 22 frets now a lot of vintage style instruments only have 21 so the fact that this has 22 it just gives you that extra note and you can bend upwards beyond that it's just a just a fun little thing you know if, if you do play that high you have, the, you have the option too, so why not, why not? A cool thing about it is that it does add a little bit more scale length to the guitar. So making the guitar neck a little bit longer kind of gets us a little bit more sustain. The tuners on this guitar are Grover locking tuners, which is pretty, pretty damn awesome. Uh, what that means, locking tuners, you do not have to do a bunch of string winding. It gives you really good sustain, uh, it gives you really good, it gives you a really easy string change. And um, as far as the tone and anything like that, I'm not too sure. I don't, I don't know if it does anything like that, but string changes do take like 10 minutes with, the, with this thing. Mm. So it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Now let's talk about the pickups on this guitar. The pickups on this are Tone Rider Blues pickups, and uh, they're pretty great. They're low output, so you might have to, if you're plugged into an interface like me, I am plugged into Guitar Rig, by the way. What you're hearing there is Guitar Rig. Uh, and the effect that I'm running into Guitar Rig is through a Vox style AC15 or AC30, whatever style amplifier, uh, going out into a little studio reverb. So, sounds pretty nice to me. Vintage style, but with a telly. Uh, anyway, the pickups on this guitar are pretty awesome. Uh, right now, I did just have it in the middle position, so we're getting the neck and the bridge pickup. Cool thing about Telecasters, why I even wanted this, is that that signature Tele sound, um, let's just give you guys a, a, a reference. So uh, I'm going to put it to the neck pickup right now and play a little thing. Middle pickup. Bridge pickup. And you could hear the difference in all the pickups right there. The cool thing about that middle pickup is that that's that... That signature quacky sound that the Telecaster has. Very popular for country style playing. Anyway, uh, pickups are pretty great. I like them. No complaints about those at all. And uh, moving on to the bridge of the guitar. The bridge of the guitar, uh, no complaints at all. Not too sure where he got the bridge from. It doesn't feel too cheap to me. I'm perfectly fine with it. Uh, it is a vintage style bridge, so that means it's got the three saddles on the bottom rather than the six that Fender swapped out later. Uh, pro what's the difference? A lot of people complain about the old style vintage bridges because they say the three saddles don't allow you to get proper intonation out of the guitar, that it won't ever be perfectly in tune. Uh, I'm okay with that. It's fine. I like blues. Blues is not perfect. That's the beautiful thing about it. It is the music of understanding, <laughs> which anyway, um, that's a bit of a rant. 
I like the bridge quite a bit, so no complaints there. He did install 250K potentiometers on the on the electronics. What, what does that mean? Higher output, I don't know too much about it, but higher output potentiometers means that you get a brighter sound. So it does have a really nice sound, maybe because of that. Also, the neck on the back does have a gloss, I forgot to mention. Uh, if you are not a gloss type fan, if you have sweaty hands, then maybe you won't like this too much. I personally love it. doesn't really slow me down too much. I don't play live that much. Maybe if I played live and it slowed me down, I probably wouldn't like it. But for the home, it's, it's perfectly fine. Uh, anything else about the guitar? Uh, the nut on the guitar, I'm not too sure what it is. It doesn't feel like cheap little plastic. If it's not bone, it's definitely a synthetic bone. Uh, and anything else that I have to add to it? Not too much else to say. Uh, guitar strap was purchased at a local Sam Ash. So that's, you know, tried to make tried to get one that matched. Um, and there's not really too much else I can say about this guitar. Honestly, I love this thing. It's pretty great. Gets a great rhythm sound, gets a great lead sound, and uh, I have a hard time complaining about it. <laughs> With that folks uh like i said not too much fancy playing i just kind of want to talk more about the guitar rather than focus on my playing i'll post up videos of songs if you guys want to see some of that stuff i hope you guys liked the review today uh we'll be doing a lot more i do have a bunch of other guitars jose my good friend just uh jose cg of shut up let's talk j just left his japanese rg which i'm going to be doing a review of soon so that's going to be pretty awesome uh, if you guys would like to see some more guitar reviews, feel free to comment, feel free to let me know, and it uh, would be awesome to do some more guitar reviews because it is a lot of fun talking about these things. Uh, anything else you'd like to see in the future, feel free to comment. This is the first one, so they're only hopefully going to get better from here. And until next time, folks, if you guys want to follow me, it's at Alizar Chand. If you guys want to follow the show, it's at Shut Up Let's Talk everywhere. Uh, Google it, do a thing. Until next time, folks, see you later. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, whatever. <laughs>